All right, today I'm taking a look at the Dreo Smart Tower Fan. Okay. We have got the base and the remote and some oh, thumb screws. That's nice. I probably don't even need tools for this. And here is the big old fan. Okay, look at that. That's fancy. It's uh, it looks like uh, Art Deco. So all we really have to do to get this thing going is snap it together. There you go. That actually feels pretty sturdy too. I like how they got bags for everything, even the extension cord. So you know, little things like that that shows that they actually care. So we will run the extension cord into the bottom. I'm going to line up this peg with this slot. There we go. Then these little wing nuts will secure everything together. Yeah, I really like that I don't have to go grab a screwdriver in order to put this thing together. Okay. And then the cord just routes right into this channel which is nice because i don't want this thing to be jerking on anything and then it sits out the back like that one thing i could say about dreo is they make really nice looking remotes we've got power minus plus menu beep oscillate and timer and on the top we got all the same buttons so it doesn't matter if you even lose the remote you can still operate the fan so turn it on that is putting out a ton of air like this thing's so big i gotta put the camera all the way across the room just to get the whole thing <laughs> All right, so right now we are set to four. So I'm gonna hit plus. So it has six settings. And I do like that it actually has a bar underneath the number. So you can easily read the number or you can just check the bar and you can get kind of an idea where you're at. That's a nice mild breeze. It's very quiet. And then if we turn this thing all the way up to six, it starts getting louder. It's not what I would call loud, but it's definitely louder because this thing's pushing a lot of air. But yeah, that's, I mean, this is pushing a ton of air. Maybe you can see it on my hairs. That's all the way back here. This thing's pushing some air. Let's turn that thing back down to three. So let's turn on oscillate. There we go. You see it's starting to move. And that is extremely important if you like airflow. Like if you want to actually, wow, look at how far that thing goes. I was not expecting that. Okay. <laughs> All right, so that is quite an arc, which is excellent. So that's gonna be better for really big rooms where you wanna really just get everything circulating because you don't like stagnant air on one side, but you got a nice breeze over here, or maybe you got a couple of people in the room and they all wanna get some breeze so you can have this thing oscillate and kind of rotate between the people. So that's really nice. And the screen did shut off, so it does that automatically. So you don't have to be, you know, maybe if you wanna put this thing in your room, but you're really sensitive to light, that's really nice. I like that it'll do that. And then we got a timer. We got zero hours, and if I just keep pressing the button, it goes up to 12 hours. You can have that thing running throughout the night, and then when you wake up to go to work in the morning, you don't even have to think about it, it'll just shut off on its own. So that's very nice. Now here's something I've never seen on a fan. This is actually kind of amazing. So automatic mode, auto mode, which is what it's in right now, this is going to adjust based on the temperature. So if it's getting hot, it will increase the speed of the fan. If it's cooling down, it will decrease the speed of the fan. So that's really cool because you can have this fan running and it will actually save you power. So that's awesome. So the next one, this is essentially just on. It's just showing a gust of wind. So if you add it set to three, it's gonna run at three. It'll do exactly what you tell it to. The next one, this is natural mode. So it kind of provides a, uh, a, a alternating pattern. So like you can kind of hear it if you listen to it. I wonder if I'm actually just destroying my, all the audio from all the wind. <laughs> <laughs> this thing's putting out some serious air. But yeah, this is really nice. Like, so it kind of brings the air level up and then down and does this nice gradual thing like you would get, like what you expect if you were sitting outside because wind isn't always the same. So that's actually really nice. It feels really nice. And then the last setting is night mode. What it's going to do is it's going to decrease in level every 30 minutes. So if you put this thing on 
uh, in the middle of the night and you have it on six. But then you go to sleep, eventually you're gonna fall asleep. You don't need the fan running full bore while you're sleeping. So it's only gonna drop by two levels at most, which means if it's at level six, in 30 minutes it will go to level five, and then 30 minutes later it'll go to level four. So you never have to worry about this thing just like going way too far down to you have to actually deal with it in the future, unless you have it at level three or level two, at which point it's going to finish at level one. So it'll save you power in the long run. I'm gonna keep that in natural just because like if I was sitting in a chair in the living room and I wanted to have some air on me, this is the setting I would put it at. It just feels nice. Okay, so now let's get the Dreo app. So. I got the Dreo app. So we'll just put in our email and create a new password. And so I got a four digit password in my email, so I'm gonna put that in now. And this is just gonna be a throwaway, so it's not a big deal. There we go, here's the nickname. So now we're going to add a device while using the app. This is the DRHTF001S. It's on the back right here in case you forget it. All right, so we are running. So let's press and hold oscillation button for five seconds. Okay, so that is flashing now. Okay, and so now we're gonna select our Wi-Fi that we're gonna be using for this. So just put in the password for that. Okay, we'll call this the Dreo Tower Fan. Okay. That's interesting. So it's saying the indoor temp is 73 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's actually telling us what the temperature is. That's pretty neat. It says it's on. Let's see if we can turn it off. Sure can. Nice. So now even if we lose the remote, we can still operate the fan. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at that. All right, so we got uh, our settings. Right now it's a natural and I've been using this for a little bit now and I, I still I really like it. We got uh, set it to normal. Sleep, or auto, and it's currently at level one. Set a timer on it, or the oscillation. Yeah, pretty cool. So uh, now I can mess with my girlfriend when I'm not at home. <laughs> so if we go to profile, over the top we got Alexa and Google Assistant. So from here we can connect Dreo to the Google Assistant, so I'm just going to hit connect. All right, now we're going to log into our Dreo account. Put that in the living room because that's where this is going. Cool. Turn off the tower fan. Pretty awesome. Okay, Google, turn on the tower fan. All right, turning on tower fan. That's pretty awesome. Okay, Google, turn on tower fan oscillation. Okay, turning on oscillation on tower fan. Nice. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, works pretty great. And so I can't show you how to navigate through the Amazon website in these videos because they don't want me to use anything that's on the Amazon website. But it is pretty easy. You just hit the uh, connect and that will take you to the Amazon website. So that's not that's no longer in the Dreo app. That's now on the Amazon website. And then from there, you just do a search for Alexa skills, look for Dreo, and then just hit enable. And that's it. Okay, Alexa, turn on the tower fan. Okay. Okay, Alexa, set the tower fan to maximum. That's pretty cool. The overall, that is a very nice, tall fan. That thing pushes out a lot of air. I think really the thing that makes this thing stand out for me is just the natural mode. The fact that the, the wind increases and decreases. That really makes this feel a lot nicer than just a cheap old fan.